What's up guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create this awesome looking modern pool in Revit and it won't be just a simple pool, it will be a more complex design, it will have one side or one wall that's made out of glass so you can kind of swim up to it and have a nice view and on the other side we're going to have just a staircase for entering the pool as well as uh, a separate yet integrated jacuzzi area because that's that's something you want to have in your luxury swimming pool. But before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. Okay, so let's get into it. I'm just going to use the architectural template for this simple project. And let me just hit UN or project units and set them to, let's set them to meters for this project. We're only going to be using rough measurements and let's add it to decimal places let's hit ok okay so we can start modeling now so I'm just going to go to the south elevation and for this level 2 I'm going to place it at uh, let's place it at 1.6 I think this is the all right height for this pool or 1.8 maybe you have it deep enough okay so we have this 1.8 deep pool and uh, let's go into level 1 now and let's type in WA for wall and we have this basic 200 millimeter wall and let's choose rectangle and for the height let's choose level 2 and let's create a rectangle like this. Now I'm just going to create a smaller rectangle and for this smaller re re rectangle let's make it 3 meters wide, 3 by 3 square, kinda like that. And now let's select this part, kinda embed it like this, kinda make it a part of the same pool, maybe extend it a bit. Yeah, this looks nice. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim this here, this here, and this I'm going to pull in over here so we have something that looks like this. Maybe extend this a little bit. Okay, so once we have this, we can now start modeling the rest of it and let's do the staircase first. I think that's a good place to start. So just go to the stair and let's choose this monolithic stair and let's just jump into the this edit type but first or, or first let's draw the stair I think that would be better so for this we're going to have a design number of steps okay let's do it at 0.4 maybe make it a long staircase like this as you have for a pool and then let's just extend it a little bit here and here as well Okay, now while, while this is selected, you can go here and change the material. So I'm just going to change the material to some tile material. So let's type in tile. Let's choose this one 25 by 25. Load it in, go apply, OK, apply, OK. So we have a tile staircase, go finish. And maybe set this or use the align tool to align this thing. And then let's just se select this railing and delete both of the railings and da, 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 delete this up arrow and maybe make it a bit longer yeah so you have enough space to swim around maybe a little bit okay so once we have this all finished now let's do kind of a bench over here for the jacuzzi now it doesn't have to be too accurate so for this I'm just going to use another wall so I'm just going to go to wall let's go to 300 edit type duplicate Let's call this wall, I don't know, 50 millimeter or 500 millimeter, and let's change this to 0.5 meters. So that's wide enough for a seat. And here I'm just going to set it to unconnected. And for this distance, let's just set it at something like, let's say, if it's 1.8, let's say 1. 1.2 maybe is the height that's all right so yeah 1.2 and let's just place a wall like so so you just place it like this and yeah it will give you a bunch of warnings maybe pull it in a bit and now you use the align tool so you just go align align this to this this to this this here to this here and you just go all the way around okay so you have your jacuzzi and just align this to this yeah so we have our seating and if we go into 3d yeah, this looks well enough. I'm, I'm happy with it. Okay, now let's do a stair. So if this is at 1.2 meters, 
then we need to have another let's say 40 centimeters so the floor for this jacuzzi area will be at 1.8 meters so let's first place the stair for that so I'm just going to go here back to the stairs and let's do regular let's do 0.3 maybe okay and let's do this from level 1 to level 1 but the second the top level will have a 0.8 meter offset okay so we have that set okay it's five steps and let's just place them okay maybe make them smaller kinda like that and then you just use the align tool to place it here on the same place and we have enough room here for the jacuzzi area okay so once we finish this let's delete this line and again delete railing you don't need it and this will be the same staircase if you go into edit type it will be the same staircasing of the same tile material okay now let's place a floor so this will be at level 1 but with an offset of 0.8 and let's use a rectangle over here and let's use another line over here and over here now let's do just trim and extend trim everything in place you just go finish and now while this generic floor is selected I'm just going to go to edit type structure by category choose this style material go ok ok apply ok do the same thing for this wall over here so edit type yeah tile okay okay apply okay and the same thing for this here basic wall so you need to change the same tile material okay so this is done and we have pretty much the whole pool now let's do a floor for the rest of the pool so let's just do select by walls kinda like that trim and extend this here yeah the rest of it looks alright but we need to place this on the outside actually so let's let's do this again because then we can flip the whole thing so just go like this yeah now it's on the right side now trim and extend this here and make sure you delete this offset place it at zero and place the floor there okay and now let's delete this wall over here and let's make sure that this thing is going all the way to the end and now we're going to add a glass wall over here so for that go wall edit type duplicate call it glass wall and you go into edit let's do this 0.05 and for the material let's search for glass choose this glass go ok okay okay come on okay so now let's place this wall over here okay this is not what you want to have so make sure that it doesn't connect to the endpoint just like that okay so we have this glass wall and if we go into 3d this is what it looks like it should actually go to level 2 with a slight offset let's do minus 0.1 yeah like that I think it looks better than it if it's going straight to the edge okay so we have something resembling a swimming pool now let's add kind of the the flooring around it so go to level 2 yeah here and now you go just to floor go select by wall and maybe select this here move this to the outside here as well and now you just do a rectangle around this portion okay so what you're going to do now just trim and extend this you go to split element SL is the shortcut and you just trim and extend this here and you get something that looks like this and you just go finish nope nope okay and if we go into 3d yeah as you can see now we have the surrounding now why did I leave this part over here well this needs to be kinda embedded in a hillside and then here we're going to have a hillside going downward so this will be opened up to basically have a view through the pool and have your neighbors view you while you're swimming that's sure fine okay so now let's go to massing inside find topo surface place one point here one point here one here and one here we're going to select all of these and as our pool uh, top of the pool is at 1.8 let's just place this at 1.7 so it's kind of embedded in the, the floor and now let's go copy multiple and copy it once over here once over here towards the edge of the pool once maybe here and once over here okay so once we have this we can place this at 
1.3 okay this should be at 0 or minus 10 minus 0.1 okay this one should be at something lower so let's do minus 0.3 and or maybe minus 0.4 And for this one, let's do something even more, minus 1. And if we go into 3D, this is what this pool looks like, or this ground. Now select it, go to the material, and let's change the material to some grass. So just go grass, find... I, I actually like using this plant material, so that's what I'm going to use. Okay, and as you can see now, our grass is actually going inside our pool. And to edit that, just go to manage... Uh, massing in sight, go split surface, select the surface, go pick lines and pick the outside lines over here and then what you're going to do, you're going to pull this line in all the way here, kind of in the middle of this these two points and just go finish and then you select this inner part and delete it. Okay, we're almost done, we only need to add some water and to do that we need to go here to the architectural tab go to component, open up the drop menu and go to model in place. So this will be just a simple in place family. So I'm just going to go here to, no, not furniture, where's generic? Yeah, generic model. And let's call it water. That's okay. Okay, so now we need to create some mass that's going to represent our water. And the problem is we can't just fill it up with water. We need to actually model the mass or the this water family according to the all of the stairs and all of the elements so it's a bit tricky but don't worry I'll show you how so you just go to pick a plane and you pick this wall plane over here you go to extrusion you go pick lines oops let's go back into 3d like so okay so you go to pick lines and then let's pick this line this line this line and then maybe you can just go around and copying everything so make sure to select multiple and you just go like that so you go all the way down to complete to complete this staircase part so you do something like that yeah everything's correct now you pick this plane perhaps this one over here and let's do this upper one and let's just bring it down because water we don't want our water to be spilling over and now just go trim and extend and let's extend this all the way here maybe bring it down a little bit more yeah and then again trim and extend here here as well here as well and you just go finish and once you have this you can kinda extend it to to the next place where we're going to be needing to model something so let's do it towards this part over here then go create extrusion pick lines or actually let's pick a plane so let's pick this plane over here where we last left off and then let's do this part and finish it off like this so this is even simpler just trim and extend there you go you finish and then make sure that it's only going towards the wall okay now let's go join geometry and join these two together okay now we need to continue going on so what we're going to do is go here to extrusion set a work plane pick a plane choose the last one and now let's use pick line so pick this line this line this here line and this here line and the bottom one and the vertical one and now again you go trim and extend and you just go around trimming everything to get your shape okay this looks okay so you just go towards here okay then again we have another staircase so let's join all of this together and now let's do the staircase so again I'm just going to go here to set pick a plane go okay pick this plane extrusion and let's just go again this here this here this this vertical face let's see and it's always easier just to work in 3d everything is nicer in 3d that's that's the point of Revit so anyway here you go and go all the way to this side and we need the upper one as well and again just trim and extend a bunch of times especially for this staircase yeah that's it for this one okay we messed up it here 
finish. Yeah, so you extend it towards here, towards this face. Okay, you just go join geometry and you join these two. Okay, and we need, just need to do the jacuzzi bar, so you just go create, set work plane, pick a plane, okay, pick this plane where we last left off, go to rectangle perhaps, end it over here, then pick a plane just for these here surfaces, kind of like that, go SL for split element, and then trim and extend to do this part over here. Okay, so let's finish this off. So this needs to go towards here. And then let's just go join geometry, join this and this. And let's just finish off the last part of the water. So just set, pick a plane, pick this. And this is the easiest one because it's just a rectangle. So you just go from here all the way to here. Uh, yeah, there you go. Just go finish connect it to the other side, go join geometry, join this to that, then you go and select the whole thing, and then you just go here to material and type in water. So let's see, we have this water and this bluish one looks a lot better, I agree, but it actually doesn't work that well in inside of a swimming pool because it's not that transparent and you can't see it through the water, you won't be able to see all the stairs. So I'm just going to choose this water, it's a bit lighter color, but I think it looks even better. And just go finish model and this is probably only available in Revit 2019 so make sure to have that version and if you want to know how to download it legally for students make sure to check out the first link in the description of this video okay so we have our swimming pool and let's just try rendering it just to see what we have so let's create a camera kind of over here yeah maybe grab it like that see the whole thing yeah this looks nice and maybe just go a bit above kinda like that and let's try rendering it so double R let's go with medium for this one and let's try it out let's see that beautiful water okay and as you can already see we can see our staircase through this water that's why I used this other water material it looks a bit better and you can see the jacuzzi seating area and everything looks better the only problem is this part over here this is something you would need to kind of do later on in post-production and set it up so it looks a bit more realistic Revit tends to mess this up a bit it looks it has some reflection that doesn't really look look realistic at all but anyway you get the point so here's our modernist swimming pool in Revit. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video and if you have any questions, comments or suggestions for future tutorials, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.